All right, now that you know how to velo, we're gonna pre-comp this. I'm just gonna name this velo and RSMB. And now we're gonna get it on with uh, Pancrop or uh, PC. So um, Pancrop is just essentially like zoom in, zoom out, you know, like, you know, kind of like that. So what you wanna do, it, there's two ways to do this actually. Um, you could either do it on the base layer, like a, on the composition uh or you could do it on the uh you can make a adjustment layer um the shortcut is control alt t not control alt t control alt y or you can just uh come up here to layer new and adjustment layer but this is just easier you're gonna want to type in transform you're gonna slap that on there. Keyframe, scale, and then click U. Uh, all U does is um, when you click U on the keyboard, all that does is just bring up all your keyframes um, for each effect. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is just add some scales. So I'm gonna have it zoom out really fast. I'm gonna make it 200. And I'm going to add some easies. Make it real sharp. Kind of like that. And I usually like to lift the little X value, this little one on the bottom. I like to um, lift it up a little bit so it looks like uh, it kind of gives it flow a little bit, like it's still going. So that way it doesn't just zoom out like super fast and then that's it uh you kind of want to have flow in your um edits you can kind of see there it looks kind of choppy um what you can do is add a motion blur cool cool motion blur way better and then right before he shoots the guy i want to have it zoom in a little bit so I'm probably going to do 130. It's going to come in quick again. Make it grab kind of like that. And then I want to have it zoom out when it kills them. So you can just go ahead and right, uh, right click and then just click reset. Um, now normally I don't do all this. Um, I use, uh, this plugin right here. It's called flow. Um, I linked it in the discord somewhere, uh, and the plugins. If you come over here, open the thing, I have flow right here. Um, I can make a, I'll make a video soon on how to install each and every plugin soon, but just not right now. <laughs> So we already got a velocity and RSMB layer. I mean, a composition. Now we got a pan crop layer. This is pan crop. All right, ooh, that's kind of loud. Hold on. I don't want to hurt anyone's ears. All right, now we're going to make a new adjustment layer and make some shakes. Um, I usually only make my shakes like about half a second long which in this case I'm editing in 24 frames per second. <clears throat> so it's only going to be about 12 frames long. And you're going to want to go ahead and type in shake. We're going to look for S shake here. And um, what I usually do is I'll, s I'll make one big shake and then a bunch of other smaller tiny shakes. So I'm going to set the amplitude to two keyframe that click you and then drop it to zero and I do um, I do graph my shakes pretty simple though so hold shift and all that does is make it, it so like you can't like move it up or down it just locks into the um, like the X 
layer, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, all I do is move this over here, move this one over here. So you get this kind of graph. And I do enable motion blur right here. And you could leave it like that if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is mess with the uh, X and Y's. So like this is more of a X shake, I guess. Uh, I don't really like X shakes. X is uh, horizontal left to right. I don't really like that. So I'm going to drop it to zero. And this is going to be a Y shake. So I'm going to set this to about 120. And so now it just goes up and down the shake. Like that. I'm going to increase the frequency of how much it shakes to 12. Yeah, it kind of shake like that. And just before and after. Very plain. And then I'm going to make a smaller shake at the second impact, which is right here. I'm just going to duplicate it. Set the amplitude to one instead of two. So we have a small shake. And for this shake, I'm going to add just a little bit of tilt. So I'll set the tilt wave amp to four. And that just makes it tilt a little bit. And then on the last impact, I'm going to duplicate this. Right here, you do not want the same shakes. You always want to have different shakes. And to do that, all you do is change the seed. So I'm probably going to do... It doesn't really matter what you put it to. All that does is change the, the shake. Like um, the type, not, not type of shake, but like position. So like these are all different shakes. That's pretty much it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little, some brightness, some exposure. It's that way it kind of brightens each time it shakes. To do that, I'm going to type in exposure. Double click that. I'm only going to do about two. Keyframe it. U. Set it to zero. I'm going to do the same thing. Graphing the shakes. Hold shift. Get it. So it brightens. And flash. It flashes each time. I'm going to copy this. And paste it over each shake. So you get something like this. All right, and if you want to make it even better, you can add a stock effect called Minimax and throw it onto that layer. Set it to 15, keyframe it, click U, just drop it to zero. No, it kind of looks a little funny. It makes like a little staircase. I'm not really sure why it does that. But go ahead and add easy ease. Do the same thing. Drop this over here and drop this one over there. And then set this to just horizontal. You get this cool little. I'm not really sure what it's called, but. Cool little left to right rays, I guess. You can always, I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna increase it to 20. And then I'm gonna copy it, add it to each one. You can kind of see a difference a little bit. All right, and that's gonna pretty much be it for like basic editing, really. 